going on everybody? Uh, we're doing a lower body two mobility workout today. Uh, there's going to be four exercises today. Uh, working again on just working on hips and also a little bit of ankle uh, flexibility and mobility. Uh, you're going to do each movement two times, 20 to 30 seconds plus. So try to get between 20 and 30 seconds. If you can do more, definitely do more. Okay? You're really going to need nothing but pretty much a yoga mat. Uh, it's all body weight today. So the first one's going to be the spidey stretch. This one's a total body stretch pretty much. So what you're going to do, lunge one leg out and put another leg back right there. Both arms are going to go inside your knee. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift that back leg up. All right. Try and shimmy around and see where, some, where it feels comfortable. And then all you're going to do is take one arm, spin to one side, take the other arm, Spin as high as you can. You're working a little bit thoracic here. Come back down, sit back, go back into it. Right there. All right. Make sure you do that easily on both sides. The next one's going to be a 90 90 stretch. So, what you're going to do is you're going to sit. You're going to try and get your legs bent at 90 degrees, both of them. All right, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep your back up straight, and all you're trying to do is move through your hips. So I like to kind of keep my hands here, and then what I'll do is go right through my feet, come down, come back up, right here. All right, and you just keep going through this, try to fish around. If you go a little bit lower than 90 degrees, it gets a little harder. A little bit more hip, a little bit more concentration and focus. Right there. All right, try to do that for 20 to 30 seconds. The next one is going to be a hand pull. So what I like to do is I'm here. All right. So my knee is already bent. I'm trying to use my hamstring, get a little bit of elongation in my hamstring. So what I'll try and do. And I'll put both hands inside, and I'll drive my heel into the ground, drive it in, make it flat, come back, fully straighten it, bend it, and drive my heel again. Come back, straight, good, and drive that heel into the ground, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, bring it forward, right there. And the last one is going to be called double dorsiflexion. So what that is, is when you take your feet and you make sure the top of your feet is on the mat. And you simply sit back as far as you can. Even if you can sit on your heels, that's fine. You just kind of sit here and chill out. Now some people may seem difficult, so I'll say put your hand down and then sit back that way. And if it hurts more, put your hands up further. It takes a little bit of weight off. But you really want to try and sit back here and stretch the front of your hand. 